Okay, everyone, to watch this video for Friday, uh, November 30th. So it'll be the last trading day in November. Um, if you were not in chat today, it was kind of a strange day, but a fantastic morning. Uh, I don't think I, I took one trade in the afternoon, but uh, made my money in the morning. And you know me, if you're in chat ever, you know I don't like to give money back, right? Um, and this is what you missed today, if you weren't in chat today. Uh, you can see that people were pretty much celebrating as I said goodbye. I got flooded with thank yous and great calls. And I, I point that out because I don't get that every day. But it, it was a good morning, right? Um, I'll show you a couple uh, a couple of the calls. I had ASNS on watch. And th these are five-minute candles. It was about four minutes in maybe. Um, I gave the call over the mic right around 290. Actually, technically, I think the trigger was 286. It was trading about 282 at the time. I said I like it. It was a two-minute buy setup with red to green and high of day above. And I was hyper-focused on this one because you had the huge move, as you can see here. I'm showing you five-minute candles, but you had the huge move a couple days ago. Then the quiet inside day yesterday. And I thought the gap down might just explode higher um, and catch some shorts off guard. That's exactly what happened. Um, it triggered right around 286, 287, 290, something like that. You had the red to green and... The, whole, the high of day, hole number three, had stacked catalyst big time and it took off, flag took, and just kept going. Um, and then I drew some lines here to show. I also made an afternoon call in it. Um, and there, I actually took it from chat, 393 with a 373 stop. And it was just kind of a tightening flag. And as you can see, I wrote, this may never happen because I put that out um, before this happened. Anyway, it ended up triggering, giving me a nice little afternoon trade as well. And then um, for me, my biggest trade was actually this one, TNXP. Uh, I called it through the half. Um, it went down after the, after the morning gap up, sold off a little bit. In my opinion, I view this as sucked in some shorts, looking for the gap fill. And then when this got back up, and it's a recent reverse split. So I think it reverse split maybe yesterday. So we knew it had a tiny float and we knew if shorts failed in this one. I did have news. This wasn't just gapping because of the reverse split like stocks sometimes do, which I always thought was goofy. And that's what, actually this one did that yesterday. And I, I didn't go near it yesterday because I thought that was a stupid reason. But then today we wake up and they actually have news. And so then I'm thinking you got some shorts caught, you got a low float, this one could be explosive. The call was uh, 750 and uh, through the half there. And these are two minute candles. So you can see uh, maybe four, two, four, six to eight minutes. It went from 750 to nine. And my day was made in six to eight minutes um, on this one. It was a really, really nice trade. And what are we watching tomorrow? ASNS. Um, this one, I already, I already showed you the intraday call, two of them today. Well, it's had this huge pop, quiet inside day, and pretty, pretty strong volume today. Um, you know, I don't know where, it, it, we'll see, maybe it'll flag below four tomorrow. Have a big seller for we take out four. Then you've got two catalysts above 439, which would be a break of today and over 450, which would be a break of uh, two sessions ago, three sessions ago, sorry. Um, so that's a pretty interesting setup. A lot of people are watching it though, but um, it might give a low risk entry tomorrow, we'll see. OGEN, this is kind of an off the radar play, but it has found support. I actually noticed some volume in it a, uh, volume in it a couple days ago and then right back down. I don't love this by any stretch. It's not like it's near breakout territory. I'm not sure if there's been any news on it, um, but keep in mind, because it traded 100 million shares back in early October, these candles look like nothing. And, and really, they're not big, but I'll scroll this over. And you can kind of see now as I get that big candle out of there, it did have a big volume day for this stock back here on um, October 30th. Seems to have found support. Tried to do something the other day, and then it, it closed pretty strong today. Keep in mind, when I point this one out, I am not... <laughs> in love with this setup. Um, it's kind of an obscure play, uh, but it made a nice move the other day when I was watching it. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's tradable. Who knows? NIO, I'm putting back on watch. You kind of have a little cup and handle forming here. Um, you know, you had two green days going into the potential breakout. I'll try to draw the line here for you real quick. Uh, let's see, we'll just use, I usually use this segment. Um, all right, so you had this, you kind of have a cup and handle and it looks really good over this line, but you did have two days to run up to get there. A lot of times you get a lower volume pullback and a, a little more of a flag and then the break. And I'm not suggesting that, I, I don't mean to talk about this like it will break, which is a mistake a lot of people make. They, they talk with 
certainty when they say, yeah, you know, um, I'm going to take this when it, when it breaks uh, this level. Um, I would always try to correct people and say, if it breaks that level, because we don't know. If you think it's going to break this level or if somebody that you respect as a trader and you're a new trader and somebody says kind of with certainty, hey, um, this is going to really squeeze when it breaks this level, that implies almost like they know it's going to break. And I can tell you this with certainty, nobody knows what a stock's going to do, right? So uh, we never kind of allow language like certainty type language in the chat room. We always throw in, hey, if. Um, but it is setting up nicely. I just, uh, you know, that's why I don't hold overnight because if um, is the biggest two letter word in the English language, right? If my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. So if doesn't mean that much, um, you know, you don't know if something's going to happen. Okay. So anyway, NIO worth watching, you know, for the next several days. Um, ALQA. Now this had this big move. I, I didn't even have it on watch today, right? Because it had this huge move, but a complete round trip. And we actually had a couple of nice calls in it yesterday before it rolled over. Well then today, it actually held up fairly well for a lot of these that round trip, they just kind of go back into oblivion. Um, this would be more interesting to me if it closed closer to its highs, but because it held up okay on 11 million shares, I am gonna watch it tomorrow, all right? TNXP, I already showed you my trade in this one. Uh, massive volume. Um, I think a lot of people were speculating that, you know, there's an offering coming or something. Um, and so we'll see. And it makes me less, it makes me like it less, but, um, because of this volume and, uh, if it gives a low risk setup tomorrow, you might get like a red to green play and it might rip. I don't know. I don't like this one very much though. Uh, even though it was my biggest trade today, right? T I T N. I'm going to point something out to you here. Um, nice volume on this stock, still not a million shares, so it kind of shows you right there, it's kind of a thinner stock. Really nice day, closing strong. Um, but when you look at almost all charts, when you see an anomaly like this, I mean, look at all the candles, and then you see an anomaly like this, okay, big breakout day, right? Um, I believe on earnings. Uh, go back and look at, at the, I always encourage people to go back and look at the daily chart and try to see what happened last time you had a big day like that, right? Um, so it's, it's not that hard to do. You can kind of scroll over and say, well, that was kind of a big day. And then the next day it had a follow through day, right? Um, hang on. There, that was kind of a big day. And the next day it did, you know, it was very narrow range compared to the big day. And then the next day it was choppy. So it's pretty rare that you get a big day like this followed by another big day. I, that's what I'm trying to point out here um, is that I generally don't like to put something on watch and really expect much from it. What I'd really rather see is, you know, this thing, you know, what it did today and then flag for a few days and then I would maybe love it through 18, right? After a few days. So keep that in mind. It made the list because, sorry, I hit something on my keyboard. Because just like yesterday, even though the market was pretty strong, I didn't find much in my scans as far as charts that I like. Now keep in mind, I, um, you know, I'm in cash every night. So I'm just looking for stuff to trade tomorrow, right? So anyway, A-D-I-L. Um, this one, wow, it actually closed better than I thought it was going to. So there's the intraday. Had this big pop um, and, you know, closed well off its highs, but well off its lows. Really big volume for this stock. Uh, so we're just going to watch it. I have no idea if it's going to give a setup tomorrow. It's certainly a thinner stock, but it, it didn't trade that poorly today. I actually saw a couple nice setups, uh, saw some of you taking some trades in it um, that fared pretty well. So uh, I definitely want to watch it tomorrow. And then TIS, this is kind of obscure, but it did trade over 15 million shares, what, about five sessions ago? And, and pulled back into the moving averages and starting to kind of curl up again. And I'll go to five minute candles. Um, had this big volume spike right out of the gate. So it's kind of getting some attention. There it is on 15. So you kind of have Sort of a, if you, if you blow your vision, sort of a little cup and handle. Um, I do like the fact that it had that big volume this morning and held up fairly well. Maybe back through two tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I'm not really in love with this list, but you know, uh, morning gappers are starting to, you know, really set up nicely and we're making some big money in the morning. So, you know, keep that in mind and maybe one of these will give, give us a clean setup as well. All right, I'm done battling. We'll see everybody in chat tomorrow. Have a great night.